Saluton, parolas Tomaso, cae bon venon al la dua viva el sendo Esperanto practice and Q and A. Bone, do. Y en la plano por jodio, mi faros kelkain exercoin en Esperanto. Um, mi facte attendas mian uh, post telefono, cae mi ne comprenas que oggi ne indicas que mi estas viva. Sed espereble mi ya estas, facte mi volas controli tiun tui un nue, por vidi ciu oni yam estas tie ci, kai tiam ni povos commenci. All right, everybody, oh, there's the clock, telling us it's time to start the live stream. Oh, there's my phone telling me that the live stream is going. And now I can hear myself coming back, so I got to put that on mute. All right, seven watching. All right, so we have the chat here. You guys, please uh, feel free to chat amongst yourselves as we go. Um, if you have any questions, I will circle back and look at uh, the chat in a little bit. All right, so here's the idea. We're going to come over here to Duolingo, and we're going to do some exercises. doesn't matter what we're going to do. I'm going to skip ahead, and I think I've mentioned um, I have not spent a lot of time actually doing exercises since the tree was updated, I worked through the course uh, in the first tree to get a feeling for it um, and to see what kind of questions people had. And ugh, I don't want to do participles today. I really don't. Um, so I'm going to do... Huh, I want to unlock these later lessons. Um, I'm going to do these ones that don't have any crowns on them. All right. So as I mentioned, it's always a good idea... If you're using the website to come over here to the light bulb and do the tips and notes. I know the uh, course authors have put a lot of time and effort into making these tips and notes. And uh, so it's good to take advantage of them. One more technical thing before I get going. Um, all right, so I can see my sound going there. This is good. All right. All right, so we talk about the suffix ISM, ISMO, and about the difference between ISMO, ISTO, I'm sorry, ISMO and ISTO, um, which are related. ISTO generally is somebody who is habitually or professionally, um, and I have not read these tips and notes quite honestly, um, uh, habitually or professionally involved with something, and there's a lot of overlap about what that means exactly when it comes down to pra uh, in practice. But, uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes as we, if we encounter any of these words as we do these lessons. All right, so back arrow. Uh, and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do start. I've gotten in the habit of testing out on the Spanish ones because that's what I'm working on here. But this is for your benefit here. Ili nevolas electi tiun registaron de nove. And I don't think you guys can hear this on the on the in the video or on the on the replay or on the live stream. Um, I heard that one was uh, the female voice, one of the uh, course authors. Ili nevolas electitiun registaron de nove. I hear a lot of comments about um, the new voice. Um, my feeling on it, yes, it could be better. Some of it, I think, is a technical issue on the Duolingo side. Um, it may have something to do with the. Uh, contributor's phone. I don't know. Uh, the question is, does it give you an opportunity to hear more Esperanto? I think the answer is uh, absolutely yes. All right. Ili nevolas electitiun registaron de novo. What does that mean? Well, it's got to start with a the word they or German because we need a capital letter. Ili nevolas electi. They do not want to elect. Not want to elect. Tiun registaron de nove. That government again. That government again. And notice that tiun registaron is accusative because electi is uh, an action and we're doing it to that action. All right. La popolo electis la presidenton de Cialando. La popolo electis la presidenton de Cialando. La popolo, the people, All right? And it's people in the sense of uh, the people of China, the people of the U.S., right? Power to the people. La popolo. La popolo electis la presidenton. Elected the president. 
oops, I forgot. That. Elected the president of the country, de Cialando, of their country, of their country. A um, couple things here. La Popolo electis la presidenton de Cialando. Um, I'd heard it was a conscious decision among the course authors. And by the way, um, if you guys know me from Duolingo, a lot of people mistakenly think that I am a course author. I am not. Uh, and part of the reason why is they get to do all the hard work and I get to hang out with you guys. So, uh, yeah. But it's my understanding that the course authors um, consciously elected not to use the word presidento, which, uh, in my opinion, is the more common word for the president of a country, presidento. Um, but uh, so the presidento would be a president of an association, and you can use it um, for the other meaning as well. De Cia Lando. All right, I'm going to spend all day talking about the Cia refers to the La Popolo. It's reflexive. Postiu parolado ne neo electos shin. After that speech, nobody will elect her. After that speech, nobody will elect her. A her will elect her. All right, I'm going to rush through these now. See how fast I can get through these. Mi estas civitano de la mondo. I am a citizen of the world. I am. I am a citizen of the world. Um, if you guys want to let me know what's useful for you, what's not useful for you as we do this, um, these live streams are taking. Uh, shape sort of as we go um we got a good reaction last time i will keep doing this as long as uh, people find it interesting um i've also gotten some good feedback from people saying that they uh, they like the long format of it because it gives them an opportunity to uh, listen audio only in different circumstances so i'm trying to make uh, as much as i can make the audio useful even if you can't see what's on the screen mi estas civitano de la mondo i am a citizen of the world Nazio povas havi pli ol unu lingvon. Nazio. And again, we look for the capital letter, A, nation. Nazio povas havi pli ol unu lingvon. A nation can have pli ol unu lingvon. More than one language. More than one language. And again, it's something you have, so you need the N. Pli ol unu lingvon. The people are elected. The people elected the president of the country. So I click without even thinking. The something that ends in Lando, and then I read it out loud. La popolo electis la presidenton de Cia Lando. That's correct. And I don't have to spend any time thinking about the other ones. Nia presidento ne ne estas tiel. Uh, this is hard because it's speaking in my ear when I'm trying to read it. Nia presidento ne estas tiel populara nun kiel li antaŭe estis. Oh boy. We're getting into politics here. Nia presidento, our president, ne estas tiel populara. Not, is not so popular. Is not as popular. Is not. Ne estas. Is not. As popular. Tiel populara. Nun. Now. Kiel li antaue estis. Kiel li antaue estis. As he was before. As he was before. Liai geavoi estis civitanoi de Germanio. What does liai geavoi mean? Liai geavoi. Liai geavoi, his grandparents were estis civitanoi de Germanio, citizens of Germany. All right, I'm going to pop over to the chat, see who's watching, see if you guys have any comments, make sure we're stoop. Whoops. Yeah. Don't, I don't need this one. Closing this window down. Pop over here to the chat. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Nun estas la tempo. Nine watching. Oh, we've got a good act attack. Do yen shano. Saluto shano. Nun estas la tempo. Yes. Do estas bona que chiwi venis. Yes. Kai pardono. Efective. Do yen la afero. Mi faris tu erarroin. Kia mi anonsis la horon de tiu viva el sendo. La unua estas que mi io mete mi do mi 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 scribis la aferon en mi ai propra notoi tio estas la unua eraro kai kiam mi electis la la 
la horon en la en YouTube, yo no quiero mi electricidad en, en la reto, um, mi accidente electricidad la decunua horo post tag meze, anstata la decunua horo tag meze, que jodía mi um, regardis mi an horaron, que mi vidis que mi facte intensis farigeni la deca horo, sed mi scribis en mi ai noto e que gi ocaso y la decunua, do mi pardon petas pritio. Um, mi diris al kelkai el vi que mi havas novan laboron, ĝi estas parta tempa laboro, kaj uh, mi ankoraŭ alkutimiĝas al tiu nova um, horaro. Do, pardonu pri tio. Uh, saluton, tion diras uh, Nikhil. Nikhil, mi, ne, mi kredas ke mi no kon, ne konas vin. Hi there, ta, hi there, Tomaso. Hi, everybody. Um, yes, so... Yep. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to just base the language I'm speaking based on my mood and what I see you guys doing in the chat. I see lots of, um, I see lots of comments in Esperanto, so maybe I'll keep on speaking Esperanto. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in English or Esperanto, uh, and I will try to answer them, or maybe somebody else in the chat might know the answer. Uh, all right, so um, you guys confirming you don't hear the sound. That's what I thought. Um, ĝi estas tre bona klopodo. Bone. Ĝi helpas novaj esperantistoj. Yes, do ni povas helpi la novajn esperantistojn kaj la komencantojn. Ah, yes, kaj li, ankaŭ ni kiel viris la propran eraron tie. Bone. Do jen tio. De no, bo, bone, do jen alia afero, kion mi volas uh, montri antaŭ mi finos tiun lecionon. Do jen la diskutejo. Um, Tio facto es das um, interesse de mando. Um, you study is tion de mando. How many hours? How many hours you learn or used to learn Esperanto per day? Um, hey, do yen la de mando. Hello, Esperantist. How many hours do you spend learning Esperanto each day and how long did it take you to reach a sufficient fluency level? And then for the new new learners, how many hours do you spend learning per day? What resources are you using? All right. So I wrote, when I was fully in language and learning mode 20 years ago, I was strongly influenced by Barry Farber's book, How to Learn Any Language. One principle in that book was that you put as much time in as possible, focusing especially on hidden moments. Waiting for an elevator? That's 20 seconds that you can pull out your flashcards and study. I made my own study tapes to listen to while walking, oops, while walking or exercises, while walking, exercising, driving, whatever. On Thursdays, my wife spoke only Esperanto with me. I'm sure it was dozens of hours per week. And he says, um, oh, I thought somebody asked me a question. Oh, this is, okay, this is the problem. Um, somebody want to know how long did it take you to be, till you became proficient in it? That, of course, is a good question. Yeah. I think it, ultimately, I think the answer is it takes you as long as it takes. Um, all right. Let me finish this exercise. Liai ge avoi estis civitanoi de Germanio. His grandparents were citizens of Germany. Exai presidantoi estas ex presidantoi. This is always a fun sentence. <laughs> exai presidantoi estas exai, pardon, estas ex presidantoi. That's the uh, brought to you by the Tautology Society. It's literally former presidents are ex-presidents. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what are you guys working on? Are you guys still working? Are you these people in the chat? Are you, um, I said I was going to speak Esperanto. Um, this is especially for people who are, who are newer, still working on the tree. If you're in the chat, what, um, which, if you're, if anybody on the chat is still sort of working on the tree and haven't worked through it, which, uh, what exercises are you working on? It might be interesting to do some of those. En nia lando ni havas du registaroin. That is a very, I don't even understand what that means. In our government, in, I mean, I understand what it means. It's just I can't understand what that means in, in semantically. In our country, en mia lando, in my country, en mia lando. 
en mia lando ni havas du registarin. We have two governments. Hmm. Wow, 40 people discussing that sentence. Estas plurai nacioi en mia lando. All right, this one actually does make sense, although intuitively it might, uh, initially it might not. Estas plurai nacioi. Estas, plats, estas plurai nacioi en mia lando. Estas plurai, plurai. Qui vorre estas plurai? Estas plurai, estas plurai nacioi en mia lando. En mia lando. There are several nations in my country, right? So a nation is sort of a, a group, a national group. Um, I'm sure I can think of an example if I had time. I'm not going to worry about it right now, right? But so within one country, it's possible to have many nations. Think about the different uh, Indian nations, the different uh, nations of the first people in North America, um, this sort of thing. So yeah, it's not not immediately nonsensical. There are several nations. Ah, yes. So estas. Oh, boys, this is so. Here's where my principle went wrong. So I clicked on the first. This is a multiple choice. And the sentence is, there are several nations in my country. <clears throat> I just quickly clicked on, highlighted the first choice that ended with the right word. And then I read it out loud. Opinio nazioi estas en mia lando. That's nonsense. So I will click the other one. Estas plurai nazioi en mia lando, which we just did. La publico electas la comitaton. The public elects the comitato. What is a comitato? The public elects the committee. La, pub la publico electas la comitaton. <clears throat> la registaro donis a la organizo iom da mono. La registaro donis a la organizo donis a la organizo gave the organization iom da mono. Iom da mono. Iom da mono. I'm just clicking for the da button there. We're trying to, uh, the government gave the uh, organization some money, right? And so uh, just like we would never say, um, well, anyway, so yeah, so iom da mono. So iom is a quantity, and it's also an answer to kiom, and da is the preposition for kiom. Da is the preposition for quantities, and so that's why... We use da there. Iom da mono means some money. By the way, that never never takes an N. Tiu bona presidanto havas principoin. Tiu bona presidanto. Again, the good president. That good president. Tiu bona presidanto. That good president has principles. Um, one comment I'll make on this sentence. Tiu bona presidanto. Within the Duolingo course, I think it's good advice to whenever you see tiu to always select that or type that. And if you say chi tiu or tiu chi, to always type this. Um, in practice, when there's only one thing, it doesn't really make a big difference. If I'd say this, this, you know, if I'm in the room of the president and I point at him, I say that president is, has principles or this president has principles, the meaning is exactly the same. Um, so, yeah. So in practice, I would say there's a little more freedom between tu and chi tu, and a lot of times um, it's just not necessary to say chi, even if you would in English say this, just a little. But within the course, yeah, I think that's probably a safe thing to do since you're translating. Shia nazio ne havas propran registaron. Shia nazio ne havas propran registaron. This is another thing. Does anyone know in the real world whether this is true? Shia nazio ne havas propran registaron. Her government, her her nation. Shia nazio, her nation. Oh, you know what? Shia nazio ne havas. Ne havas. Does not have. Does not have its own government. Shia nazio ne havas propran registaron. All right. So I have completed this exercise. Please wait. I got my 10 XP for that. Woohoo! Um, by the way, that reminds me. I'm going to take a look at the leaderboard here. Uh, 
All right. So I am, sometimes I like to, now that I've been working on my Spanish more, I've been uh, trying to um, keep up with the Joneses on a daily, a weekly and monthly basis. Uh, Angelo, Angelo, he's uh, smoking me this week, and uh, he's been smoking me in real time. He has been sending me messages on Facebook, letting me know that he's going to continue to smoke me, and shots are fired. So uh, <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to catch up to you. Iam mi captos vin Angelo. I'm sorry, I got your name wrong here. But he is like way ahead of me. Um, so mi excelo efective estas capti tiun personon, Berto Schumann. Li pasis min antau kelkai semainui, au et plurai semainui. Kai mi dum kelka tempo mi provis capti lin sed ne sukcese. Kai poste, post kia mi pasos lin, mi ankau volas uh, pasi signoro box, ki un mi uh, ambau, ti, ambau personoin mi conas persone, to mi efective rencontis ilin. Berton mi recon, rencontis en unue en Croatio, kai poste en Francio, kai Hungario, kai uh, signoro box mi rencontis, signoron box mi rencontis en uh, Vermonto, Antau, mi supposas, antau uh, dec quin minutoi. Se tivi personoi minestias mi iam captos, oh, ian angelo, an angelo, mi devos capti lin. Tio estas la plano, sed ni vidos. Bone, mi volas reveni al la bab babileo. Do ien, kio estas... Saluton Chiwi, saluton AJ, Ayo, Ayo. Saluton, hi there, Thomas, mine povas audi, yes, bonas. So, mine havas bonan manieron vidi kion mi am legis, tio estas alia afero. Fakte, tiu memorigas min, mi havis la ideon inviti gaston parto preni en la hispana, en la hispana, babi, en la hispana, viva el sendo, por helpi min pri mia hispana. Kaj mi scivolas, ĉu estus utile havi duan personon en la esperanta viva elsendo. Um, kaj do, eble tiu persono povos atenti la babilon pli bone ol mi, kaj eble ni povos havi do, vivan konversacion, eble tiu estus interesa. Do, bone, do, jen... La bone, la bone demando ni kiel, kiu estas la bone demando, mi, mi ne komprenas. Do ni kiel, kiu estis via demando, kiu en xano nomis bona. Jess Esperanto diras saluton al ĉiuj, do saluton Jess Esperanto. Li havas kelkajn filmetojn en sia kanalo pri liaj klopodoj lerni kaj pri boni ĝi en Esperanto. Tiu povos esti interesa por kelkaj. Kiel oni diras, it will take you as long as it takes. Ah, yes, do tiu, ah, tiu, tiu, dauros tiel longe kiel necese. Tiu dauras tiel longe kiel necese. Tiu estas unu solvo. Necesas tiom kiom estos, kiom necesas. Necesos tiom kiom necesas. Ien alia solvo. Takes, es yes, to tiu takes, to tiu dauras. Gene tiu dauras, au tiu neces, la tempo, tiom da tempo estos necesa, tiom da tempo necesas. Native Americans, yes, to, yes, tre bonito. Do vi havis la saman ideon. Ah, yeah, oh, nu mi comprenas. Do ien, do ien la demando, verŝajne la demando estis, kio estas la diferenco inter lando kaj nacio. Yes, do tre ofte landoj havas nur unu nacion kaj alifoje ne. Bone, do, en la pasinta semajno, mi volis montri al vi kiel mi trovas kaj respondas al demandoj, kaj mi ne intensis montri al vi mian privatan reposton, sed jen espereble ne estis io vidinda tie. Sed jen, do intertempe venis tri novaj frazoj, ke mi simple ne legos ilin nun, 
sed mi povas uh, montri al vi kelkajn aliajn demandojn, kion mi vidis inter uh, samtempe, do ien mi jam legis tiujn mesaĝojn, kaj mi pensas, ke tiuj verŝajne estas bonaj demandoj. So, Barry demandas, how do you know how to end a sentence? I'm confused by the O ending versus the A, N, O, N, and A ending. So I'm going to click on view discussion. That's going to open up a new tab. I'm going to just do a few of these right now. Uh, I'm going to look at the next email that I got. Fabcan1 asks, the sentence, what is the difference between you know nothing and you know nobody? in Esperanto. All right, so we're going to think about how we're going to answer that question. Here is another question somebody is asking. Uh, the sentence is, Manjante pizzon, mia filo faligis gin sur la plankon. Shouldn't it be translated as dropped it onto the floor? Yeah, other. Well, I, off the top of my head, I think that is probably a good question, and I think he's probably right, but let's take a look at the context to see. And uh, one more. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. I, I'm not going to click on this sentence, but the reason why I saved this one. Here's the sentence uh, in English. I had the honor to present. Um, you know what? I'm going to click on the discussion just so we can read it in context. I'll come back to that. All right. So the first sentence that I looked at is, I'm going to close that. I don't need this open anymore. Um the first sentence I looked at is, how do you know how to end a sentence? I'm confused by the O ending versus the on, on, and a ah ending. So here is, are they having lunch? Chu ili tagmanjas. All right, so we have to think about how we're going to answer that. Um, yeah. So let's ask, what, uh, what, what sentences are you having trouble with? are you having trouble with question mark um in this case case as is a verb ending uh tagmanjas can i copy that without tagmanjas i don't want to have to tagmanjas means what does tagmanjas mean Tagman just means to have lunch. Right. Having lunch. Have lunch. On adjective ending. On. All right, I'll do it this way. A is adjective ending. O is what's o o is a noun ending and then n is accusative you guys all know this n shows shows the direct object and i'm going to ask them one the question what am i going to ask them are you looking at the tips and notes are you reading the tips and notes Use the light bulb icon. Light. Uh, why is that underlined? Light bulb. Is, it, is light bulb two words? Apparently. Use the bullfight. No, use the light bulb icon. Log on to the web version if necessary. It really helps. Yeah, I get a lot of people that don't know their tips and notes or they don't know that the web version is out there. Um, always good to read those tips and notes um, rather than spending weeks out there just looking at sentences, trying to guess why there are certain endings on there. All right, so that's that. Let me answer another question. Uh, whoops, I probably should not have left that open either. In fact, <laughs> Oh, my secret mess. Usually I, I've been bringing up a separate set of windows and I said, oh, it doesn't matter this time. All right. Vistias neon. Of course, there are the obligatory jokes about Jon Snow. And the question was, how do you know the difference between... Well, you know what? Duolingo does this thing where it doesn't actually show me the 
Um, the thread that I'm applying to, it's gotten too clever for its own good, I think. I want to do newest. Newest. Well, the other thing that sometimes helps is if I just make a post, sometimes the post will come up. This is what I deal with, folks. This is how I go out and <laughs> make sure that when people are asking questions on Duolingo that I can uh, that I can answer their questions. So this is uh, this is how we make the sausage. Tiel onifaras la colbason. Ah, you see what I had to do? I had to post a post on there in order to get this other post to come up. So now I can delete my post. Here's another thing people don't seem to know. If you write something and you for, uh, and you want to add to it, you can always do edit. Or if you write something and you realize, oh, that was a dumb question, you can just delete it. Although the only dumb question is the one you don't ask. Although some other questions do come pretty close. Anyway, kio esas la diferenzo inter vi scias nenion kaj vi scias a vi konas nenion. There we go. Vi scias nenion. Vi konas nenion. How about that? Is that a good, is that a good answer? Anyone disagree? I should check before I actually post it. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to leave that open in case you guys do disagree. I just asked you guys a question. Let me take a look at the chat, see who's going out there. All right. Bon matinon. Native Americans. Dacon. Shano. I've only been working on Esperanto for a week. I'm not very far yet. Animals. All right. So, Daniel. Uh, saluton. Que bon venon al Esperanto. Animals. All right. That's a good one. Mi estas, uh, mi estas tres. Yes, to kioma horo estas nun en chinio. Mi supozas que estas prescao la decunua horo vespere. To uh, saluton al vi en chinio. Ah, hiena lia fero. To chu ver vi usas YouTube en chinio. Tio mi pensas que tio estas alia fero. Can you explain the word, the use of antao? Like how and where to place it? To CJ, chu vi povas doni al mi frazon? Kion vi bezonas? To tio depende. Ĉar antaŭ havas du signifon, aŭ ĝi havas do spacan signifon kaj tempan signifon. Do se ni parolas pri la tempa afero, mi povas diri ke antaŭ unu semajno mi faris vivan elsendon. So a week ago, I did a live stream. Antaŭ unu semajno. To antaŭ is a preposition. And prepositions always come in the preposition, right? So they always come before the words they're work, working with. Um, Kian tago, kia tago. Ah, yes. So, um, there's also a delay on here. So, uh, CJ, if you've answered my question, I will catch up to it in a second. But if you could let me know, like a sentence that you want to say antao. So the other use of antao is the spatial use. Uh, do mi, uh, antaŭ mia domo estas grandega arbo, granda platano. Estas granda platano antaŭ mia arbo. So antaŭ is a preposition, so it always comes before um, the word. So I think that is that's probably an answer to your question, no matter what your what your sentence might be. Um, that it always comes before, right? So that if you're thinking of a of a go. That might be what's uh, what's tripping you up. So in, in, a go is a post position, and there are a few post positions in English. A go being the most notorious, the most common, right? So you might say, "Mi comencis lerni Esperanton tri monatoj," and at that point you've painted you've painted yourself in a corner, right? Because since rather than trying to translate word for word, you have to think sort of thought by thought, phrase by phrase, and idea by idea. So I learned three, I learned, I started learning Esperanto three years ago. I started, mi comencis, lerni Esperanton, uh, learn, to learn Esperanto, lerni Esperanton, three years ago. Antao tri aroi. Estas mercredo. Sorry, I'm not thinking clearly. I meant to ask. Ankau. Ankau. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. That's the other thing. Ankau and Antau. There's they they look there's just one letter difference. That's uh that makes perfect sense. All right. So Antau 
is um, uh, should go. It's be, go, it goes best before the word. It, I'm sorry, ankau. Ankau goes best before the word it modifies. Right. So mi um, shatas kukon. Right. One person says mi shatas kukon. The other person says ankau mi. Um, ankau mi shatas kukon. Um, mi lernas esperanton. Ankau mi lernas esperanton. Uh, the first person says, Mi lernas esperanton, kai, and he wants to say, I also learn French. So here's where, so you could say, Mi ankau lernas la fransan. You could, strictly speaking, following that principle, you would say, Mi lernas ankau la fransan. Right? So, ankau la fransan. So you're, the additional thing you're learning is French. Do mi lernas esperanton, mi lernas ankau la fransan. The um, the uh, thing you run into those so you'll hear people say mi lernas esperanto y mi ankau lernas la fransan. If you say that in writing in a public place, somebody somewhere has a chance of saying, "Hey, you said it wrong," and I would tell those people to stick it in their ear. Um, <laughs> if, if if you say uh, mi lernas esperanto y mi ankau lernas La Fransan, you, th you just have to think Ankau Lernas La Fransan as one whole idea. Um, and then that's kind of really okay. Um, but you would, the, the best thing, my biggest advice here is um, don't, don't ever end a sentence with Ankau. Right? So, um, right, so, so here's, so to explain that middle sentence I was just talking about, let's come up with a third example. So, me lavas la teleroin. Me lavas la teleroin. Kai mi ankau sekigas ilin. I wash the dishes. I wash the plates. And I dry them too. Me ankau sekigas. Right? So ankau sekigas. In that case, ankau comes before sekigas, saying that's an additional action that we do to these plates. <laughs> All right. If I've missed anybody in the chat, I uh, uh, feel free to ask again afterwards. Mi pardon petas pritio. Esto jaudo. Oh, esto es presca un octomeso en chinio. Mi comencis lerni esperanto antao triaroi. Tio estas vera fraso por vi. Do bone, do. Y esto ne dan kinde, do refoye, mi iros al... Do bone, do yen, kelke personoi notoi. Oh, so, so nobody complained about vistias nenion. That's what I was doing. And, all right, so. Shouldn't it be translated as dropped it on the floor? Let's get the context here. Manjante pizzon mia filo faligis jin sur la plancon. Ah, yes, while eating pizza, my son dropped it on the floor. All right, so here is. I'm just going to copy this sentence so I don't have to. I would expect the course to accept both of the following. All right, and then I'll put a little dot there. You can, here, here, here we go. You guys can see this if you uh, do. If you if you haven't learned how to do this, these dots, these dashes, become um, bullet points <laughs> when uh, when I hit save. While eating pizza, my son dropped it on the floor. My son dropped it on to... Uh, this is more of a quirk. This is more of a quirk of English than, than with Esperanto. You'll hear both. But yes. The, yes, it... Uh, it is going onto the floor, as you said. And I noticed this person has an American flag in his list of languages, so there's a good chance he's a second language um, English learner. So we can be patient there with that question.
One of the things I worried about when uh, answering these questions, <laughs> well, answering these questions live, is whether I would uh, blurt out my initial thoughts. Sometimes I'm like, sometimes I see questions and I'm like, I don't understand this. Why are you answering this question? Haven't you seen this before? And then I take a deep breath and realize, oh, everybody's learning. All right. So yeah, here's the uh, here's the sentence in context. Mi habis la honoron. Presenti la presidenton al si. Al, pardon, al she. Mi habis la presi. <laughs> what does it mean if I said si? All right, so what does my slip of the tongue mean there? What is, what is this? This is not what's on the screen, but what, do, what does this sentence mean? Mi habis la honoron presenti la presidenton al si. <laughs> that means I had the honor to present the president to the, pre to the president. Yeah. And that's because... There are two verbs in this sentence, habis and presenti. And so if I were to say see si in this, you're not going to zoom in so you guys, maybe if you guys are on a phone or whatever, right? So there, there's two, there's multiple verbs in here. Habis, mi habis la honoron, presenti la presidenton al she. That's the actual sentence. But if I were to say al si, which I did by mistake, that would reflect back to the previous verb, presenti. Present the president to the president. All right, mi habis la honorum. Um, and the reason why I decided to leave this sentence in the list, this question in the list of my questions to answer, I'm not going to take that, I might answer it later because it's going to take me a while to um, answer this uh, coherently. But the short answer is not every uh, not every translation, not every expression is an anglicism. Right? He said that he thinks this is uh, somebody's translating too literally. Um, and I see that quite a bit. And uh, quite, in fact, I think a lot of sentences talk about having the honor too, a lot of languages. And uh, so I will come up with some examples of, um, of people saying that, or at least I will take a look before I stick my neck out too far. But yeah. Mi um, honorigis presenti la presidenton al she. Estis honoro por mi presenti la presidenton al she. Estas multi maniero respondi al tio. All right. Uh, so, yeah. So, while, before I get into the next, um, the next lesson, or the next, uh, yeah, the next series of sentences that I want to do, uh, make sure you guys, uh, if, you have a, if you have any thoughts about what you want to see in a live stream, um, let me know. This is, this is, uh, my time for you guys. Um, I don't need to practice my Esperanto. Um, I might get to go, I, I might be out here answering questions anyway. Um, uh, in Duolingo, I thought I would take an hour out of my week and, uh, allow you guys to sort of look over my shoulder as I do that. And if you have any of your own questions, do it that way. And so far I like the shape that it's taking, but any feedback you have about what you want to see more of, less of, let me know, and uh, we'll make this uh, the best hour we can spend uh, together working on Esperanto. Bone, do yen alia afero, kio mi volas mensi, que tio estas que mi havas alian, do, facte, kiu mensi is kiu let's see on only five, it's only animals, do you know? Do kiu estis la leciono? Somebody just told me what lesson they were working on. And I was going to try to do that one. I should be writing this stuff down. That's why I need that's why I need another person. Ti ami personas no alien person on. Oh. I thought somebody said. Well, this is bad. All right, but Pardon me, mi serchas, mi serchas la veran, la persona que diris que li comenzas antau malonga tempo, que mi forgesis que yo diris tion. Uh, I've been working, ah, yes, 12th skill, animals, the boy, do ilio, lia diris bestoi, bestoi, que estas bestoi, do mia, por mia estas ora, se mi pova simple fari tion chi practice. All right, so I wanted to say that um, 
I have, uh, I wanted to, last week I did this at one in the afternoon Eastern time and I had to do it earlier today because I uh, had some lessons. So you guys may or may not know, I teach um, one-on-one. -on -one. I have, uh, I'm actually um, lessons starting to pick up again. This week I have several back-to-back -back lessons. Uh, some days I've got uh, three or four people learning Esperanto. So I spent an hour um, not totally unlike what we're doing here. Try to do um, with the students. Where I, if I know where you are in terms of what your level is, um, I would encourage you to to do more speaking than I'm doing now, and try to do more in Esperanto than I'm doing now. Um, a lot of what is sort of bringing me back to English are these questions that I'm looking at in English, and the fact that I'm translating the sentences. All right. And that's uh, that next bit of news. Oh, let's do a few more exercises here. La Cevalo Havas Bellan, and we have to fill in the blank here. La Cevalo Havas Bellan, and I'm going to tell you the word means, for those of you just listening, the word means tail. What word can we put in there for tail? La Cevalo Havas Bellan Voston. Birdoi Musoi Kai Spazzo Flugas. What are we going to put in that space? Birdoi Musoi Kai, and it has to, the answer is bees. Birdoi Musho. Oops, Abeloi. I didn't know that I. Dang you! I didn't know that I stuck time practice. Oh, wow! I forgot that. Oh, I spent. Yeah! Oh, shoot. I got one answer. <laughs> <laughs> that was more exciting than I meant to be. I accidentally hit time practice, and I spent all my time talking. And I was like so close to get that, getting that, uh, getting that done. Uh, I want to let you guys know another secret. Um, I do um, time practice by habit because it's my habit. A lot of times to uh, just do before I started working on Spanish, I would. Um, get the minimum number of points per day and getting the minimum is easiest when you do the time practice. Birdoi mushoi kai spazo flugas. And the answer is bees. Kiel oni diras, kiel oni diras bees, abeloi. Birdoi mushoi kai abeloi flugas. Yes, la blua birdo provas vivi. Yen malgaya historio pri blua birdo. Kami devas taipi la respondon. Yes. The bird, whoops. I do this all the time. I'm sure you guys have mixed your languages. Yes. The blue bird tries to live. What are the three words in Esperanto that can be translated tries? Provas is one of them. Yes, la blua birdo provas vivi. Um... Provas, provi, penny, and clopodi. What are the differences between the three? Penny, penny means to give out an effort, to make pains to do something. La blua birdo penas vivi. The bird is striving to live. La blua birdo, and the other, what's the third word? Clopodas. Clopodas, that's a little bit funny. Clopodas can mean taking steps to, right? So it's gathering up all its things, right? But provi is a good general word for to try. Kiu el la cunicloi estas blanca? All right, so here's a question. Why is blanca, excuse me, why is blanca singular? Why is there no J on blanca? Kiu el la cunicloi estas blanca? Which, I'm going to translate this literally, which of the rabbits is white? I don't know if it's going to take it. We'll find out. Which of the rabbits is white? That's exactly what it wanted. And there's our answer. Rabbits, which is singular. Q is singular, so Blanca describes Q. El lacunicloi is a prepositional phrase, right? So it's a, it's a group of words that stand by itself. Q estas Blanca is the basic sentence. Q estas blanca. Q is singular. Blanca is singular. And another lesson from the tautology department. Shafidoi uh, estas la idoi de shafoi. Shafidoi. Huh. I blanked for a second how to say that in English. Lambs. Shafidoi estas la idoi are the offsprings. Are the offspring. I see a lot of questions on the board. People want to say, why isn't it offsprings? 
these sorts of things of sheep. And my my answer to that is ask an English teacher. <laughs> of course, the fact that I'm an English teacher is another <laughs> is another is another, a whole other story. La ficho estas en la aquo. Right, people say the sentences. Right, la ficho estas en la aquo. The fish is in the water. Oh, this is one we're listening exercise. All right, so I'm going to have to listen to Mi vidas abelon en la floro. What a, what a, what a, what is the sentence? Mi vidas abelon en la floro. Mi vidas abelon en la floro. That's sort of how he says it. Mi vidas abelon en la floro. Um, and people ask, can I have a turtle speed? We want turtle speed. So here's turtle speed. Mi vidas abelon en la floro. Mi vidas abelon en la floro. Mi vidas. I should probably type it. Mi vidas abelon en la floro. And the translation is, I see a bee in the flower. Common question I have seen is, why is it not on the flower? Well, that's because that would be sur la floro. So clearly in Esperanto, um, where the Esperanto sentence means that the bee is literally inside the flower. It has to go down inside to get the nectar, so it's getting all the pollen on itself. Chi la abelo vera estas en la floro. Chi devas iri en la floron por atingi la nectaron. Kai tiel la poleno iras surgin. Kai ji povas polenigi la florin tiel. There we go. Um, one funny thing along these lines is that it's the same thing with a tree. Um, we usually say in English, in a tree. And what we really mean is you're not actually physically inside the trunk of the tree. You're, at, you're on part of the tree. So the same way a bee could be on a flower or in a flower, you would say, mi estas sur la arbo. That's a line from the Mazi course. Here's another type what you hear. I'm going to try to I'm gonna say it quickly. Adamo shatas capti fishoin. Did you hear that? Did you understand that? Adamo shatas capti fishoin. And I'm going to type it and do turtle speed at the same time. Adamo shatas capti fishoin. Fishoin. Now listen one more time. Adamo shatas capti fishoin. Yep, that's good. All right. And notice I did the X system. I habitually and stubbornly do the X system because I learned Esperanto in... Uh, in the late 90s when that's sort of what people did and it just seems normal to me um i know it it uh causes problems for some people um all right so um i mentioned i was doing my time i made a list of things i wanted to mention before i ran out of time we've got just a few minutes before i need to start packing up for my next um, activity and one is so i mentioned i had some lessons um, I'm going to keep on doing this live stream. We'll do it again uh, next week. Uh, watch the... Uh, um, uh, what am I trying to say? Watch the uh, community tab and or my channel to find, get the exact time. And uh, I will schedule that around my, the, my italki lessons if necessary. Um, yeah, because that's how I eat, quite honestly. Um <laughs> So thank you. Dankon al tiwi kiwi lernas esperanto kun mi. Tomorrow's video, I am frantically trying to uh, finish the editing of it. I got the, uh, I just made another pass through. I'm sort of happy with the way it looks. I want to add a little bit of spice and interest to it. So I need to do another pass. And I'm not sure when I'm going to get that done because um, I've got a little bit of time this afternoon. And then, um, then, uh, uh, I go back to another activity and then I'm going to be babysitting my nephew. I'm really looking forward to that. Mi vartos mian nevon. Caitio estos nova afero por mi. Cutime lia avino. Tio estas mia bo patrino. Cutime mia bo patrino vartas mian nevon. Sed hodiao mi faros charciui virinoi. Do mia 
bo patrino, mia edzino, mia bo fratino, kai mia filino, ciui iras al teatrajo. Do ne estas virino por varti la knabon, do ili petis viron, la onklon, mi, oni petis min varti lin, kai mi vera antau juas tion, do mines cias kio okazos morgao pri la la ciu jaura filmeto, ciu mi finos gin mal frue, pacte, ciu tago es iesto, iesto, mi devos fini gin, al shuti gin, cae fari antau bildeton, antau o mi lanchos gin, do, ci eble estos mal frua, au eble mi attendos unu semainon, mi ne ancora ne decidis, se mi attendos mi faros vivan el sendon pri io, nun estus bona tempo proponi temon, mi povos de nove fari vivan el sendon morgau. Mi havas pli liberan horaron morgau. Cer morgau kutime estas mia tago por... Nu bone, tio estas alia afero. Bone, refoja ala leciono, mi havas tri minutojn, antaŭ mi volas fini. La koko kaj la ĉevalo vivas, the chicken and the horse live, the chicken and the horse live. Live. Oh, that's right. We said somebody was working on animals. Chu besto manjas gin. Chu bestoi manjas gin. Are animals eating it? A common question we get on this one is why does if um, it's tempting to think that chu means are and bestoi means animals. Well, that should be plural. And manjas means eating, and jean means it. But in fact, manjas means are eating. And chu just makes it a question, right? So we've come up with sentences, are animals eating it? And that would be bestoi manjas jean. Bestoi manjas jean means animals are eating it. And then we add chu, and that's like changes the orders from animals are to are animals eating it. You don't have to type the question mark and check. There we go. Two animals. Ah, yep. And this is the other thing. Um, I used to answer people's questions saying why it should be do and why it should be are and this sort of thing. Finally, I just say I would expect the course to expect accept both. So if I had gotten this wrong, I would have I would have said, hey, my answer should be accepted, and they will gladly add it as a alternate transla translation. In fanoi amas kunikloin. In fanoi. Children, amas, love, kunikloin, rabbits. Now, mi amas kunikloin, kai kiam mi estis infano mi amis kunikloin, sed mi havas fortan alergion kontrao kunikloi. Kai mi ech ne povas esti en la sama domo kun kuniklo. Do mi shatas kai amas kunikloin, sed mi ne povas proksimigi al kunikloi. Shiai katoi manjas liain birdoin. Shiai katoi manjas liain birdoin. Shiai, her, katoi, cats, manjas, eat, liain, his, birdoin, birds. All right, I can just do that. Birds. All right, I am running out of time, so I need to... Tio estas lia aligatoro. Tio estas lia aligatoro. What does that mean? Kion signifas tio? That is his alligator. All right. So I don't want to drag this out. Um, it's been a good hour. Um, the uh, Mi esperas que tio estis utila por vi. I'm going to spend a minute here looking at the chat. Um can you explain? I think maybe I'm scrolling too much. Maybe that's the problem. Make sure I have everything. Said esto jaudo baldo. Ah, yes, right. Um, yeah, it's funny because I uh, bon, mi 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 respondo sa vi nob white, noob white. Ah, uh, yes, esto jaudo che vi set che mi estas ancora mercredo. Um, Kai mi fakte mi anoncis ke mi els mi um publikigas novan filmeton ĉiun jaudon, sed mi um 
neniam diris kiam mi faros, se mi kutime vekiĝas en la mateno kaj tiam mi publikigas la filmeton. Kaj okazis foje ke mi ne tuj faris, kaj tiam mi komencas ricevi mesaĝojn. Ĉu vi ne havos novan filmeton hodiaŭ? Do la kutime, do mi provas do ĉe la ĉirkaŭ la sepa horo ĝis nur kiam mi vekiĝas en la orienta Novjork urba horzono mi mi provas um yes mi provas um al shuti la uh, public publicigi la novan filmeton efektive mi devas al shuti ĝin antaŭ tempe bone mi komencis esperanton yes no mi parolis pri tio uh, yes la prezidento mi pr mi prezentis la prezidenton al si stranga afero Gis la revido CJ, gis la revido Noob White. Mi estas en mi oficio, do mi ne povas oft, tre ofte, babili kaj patropreni, tio estas tute en ordo. Uh, kaj yes, do Zachary Snyder, saluton kaj gis revido al vi. Kaj ni faro tion post unu semajno, mia horlojo sonas. Kaj uh, dao respektu Esperanto Variety Show, ĉar estas, uh, fakte, la spektoj tre kreskas, kaj mi dankas vin. Pro tio kai tio estas chio. Gis la venota foyo. Gis.